Hi all, let's have a look at one of the more exciting games of Leela Chess in the TSAC Season 14 Division 3. Leela is doing really well in this division. Uh, this is against Komodo MCTS edition, so it uses a Monte Carlo tree search. Uh, so the opening book, E4, sorry, D4, G6, Knight F3, Bishop G7. Here is the end of the opening book. Now we have E4, so we're transposing into Peart's territory. So E4 was the first uh, move here by Leela. So D6, Knight C3, Knight F6, and now Bishop G5 is chosen. I should note there's an interesting little toggle switch being used in Division 3, uh, which is kind of a penalty for trading because often leaders traded down material and then we're entering often table based territory and often a draw. So it, to me, it reminds me of maintain the tension principle. Uh, if you want to uh, play more for a win, sometimes just maintaining the tension is a really good strategy in one's own over the board chess to keep the complexity, to keep the opponent having to calculate a lot each time. Um, and it's definitely a tool which uh, Simona Ashton has mentioned that Magnus Carlsen was using in a lot of games as a sort of hat to keep her opponents really worn out. Uh, so let's see how this, uh, in this game, if there's an element of maintaining the tension. Uh, so black castles, uh, if to be annoying h6 you might think, and bishop e3 and it even more annoying knight g4, the bishop could just head back and then um, we could have bishop f4 instead. Okay, and if knight h5, then bishop e3, there could be a bit of a dance, but it's okay for white. Black castled and left now the possibility of stopping h6. So that nuisance kick move is ruled out. c6, bishop h6 used now, b5, a3 to stop b4, which would mean e4 is weak. Bishop g4, and now hack attack style, h4. This is almost like a, you know, hack attack over the board player. Is playing this with white so not even casting queenside just going in for the h file yes it's like how i play a lot of my bullet chess recently so a6 h5 bishop takes h5 is played on knight takes h5 knight h2 may be strong for example g4 and now e5 disrupt dislodging that knight away from that h7 uh, square protecting and now knight takes knight f3 this is a very very comfortable attacking position and white can even avoid uh, taking on f8 and just keep the tension actually and just build up on the h file this is just devastating stuff uh, if there is even this allowed it's it's still really strong attack uh, prospect even here if it gets closed up for a moment it just gets opened up the knight takes f7 this is just a scenario which is pretty devastating black's pieces are not really defending the king here so uh we have actually bishop takes h5 knight h2 and there is an element of this bishop being trapped sometimes we have knight bd7 an interesting alternative to check out is e5 you can check the variations in the pinned comment of this video but this is interesting bishop takes g7 for example f3 with the idea of g4 if e takes maybe knight e2 is best here and castling queenside to avoid any uh, knight takes e4 type sack with queen h4 white well, should be doing okay off the g4 as you'd think like uh winning a piece basically but um th there might be some counterplay to to handle uh so uh Okay, so e5 maybe is an interesting alternative uh, to what was played, which was knight bd7. We have now bishop takes, and that f3 with the idea g4. So black makes way for the bishop to go to, to g6 with this pawn sack. That's ignored though, e5. And now knight g8. On d takes, uh, black is losing a piece if going this way with knight takes e5 because check is forking both knight and bishop and if the knight uses up the g4 square then g4 bang the bishop's going big advantage to white uh, so we have knight g8 now queen takes g5 check bishop g6 and now castling queenside it's a really delightful attacking position with this active rook on the h file 
with the bishops uh, exchanged off there the dark squares are a bit weak we have a5 f4 with a big threat of f5 black decides to do this counter attack white ignores that so both pushing on f6 hitting the queen on b takes then actually even stronger than taking the bishop is knight g4 for example here taking with check and yes the dreaded form pawn is arriving here after e6 with f6 check it's devastation for example like this there's rook takes h7 check winning the queen or even worse if the form pawn is left uh, with king h8 then bang rook takes h7 if bishop takes there's queen g7 checkmate if king takes it's just carnage check here and then mating so we have f6 queen g3 b takes c3 knight f3 just celebrating the pin piling on the pressure queen e8 e6 dislocating black's position as well so white temporarily a piece down but with huge pressure c takes b2 check king takes rook a7 you may have a tiny question here about rook a7 like why didn't the knight move isn't it bad enough white celebrating the pin without the knight moving as well does black just want to give up all its pieces is this turned into a, a version of suicide chess let's have a look instead of rook a7 for a moment at knight b6 it does seem as though you know there's a check on a4 as they say pats a caesar check or well, fisher did pats a caesar check pats a Pazer check isn't there a, like, a b file does it matter about g6 let's have a look concretely here for a moment bishop d3 is very strong for example c5 d takes knight d5 knight d4 and we have now this, this is this is a technical variation h6 as an example king a1 knight c3 f takes g6 and the, the point is that the f5 knight is really quite vulnerable as well so there's things like check and then g7 check potentially if f5 here c takes black tries to arrange some sort of counter attack but it's too late it's too little too late here after check for example bang bishop takes f5 check uh, check here to eliminate this attacking knight it's really a crushing position so it seems this move rook a7 is out of pure desperation yeah it just seems knight b6 bishop d3 white's really celebrating the pin even more uh than in the game continuation black's already in a busted state it seems to, be able to have to play rook a7 here just in case you were wondering uh we have now bishop d3 just piling on the pressure on g6 so rook a7 maybe wants to catch the knight rather than the queen because g6 would be even weaker so uh, we have knight h6 you may also be wondering here about the knight moving why why knight h6 if we look at this position and play instead knight b6 why actually has a really devastating continuation can you guess what white can play in this position if i give you five seconds to pause the video okay rook takes h7 check this really does celebrate the pin in a big way after f takes g6 check now rook h1 threatening rook h7 checkmate uh, just to put that on the board just for fun look at this checkmate nice isn't that so anyway say black plays knight h6 you can guess that rook takes h6 perhaps is strong and this crashes through after check and then mate as an example so yeah it's all pretty devastating on knight b6 in this particular position now white regains the piece lena regains the piece knight c5 this is just desperate absolute desperate move knight c5 as it looks uh if uh, so on h takes g e takes rook takes rook takes h6 is crushing off the check knight h4 there's a big idea of knight f5 check among other things so knight takes here this is just crashing through a bishop up nothing for black to do here this is just uh, this scenario is just hopeless 
and in fact things like rook h3 now in this scenario and if queen d5 there's always c4 so um, these scenarios are pretty pretty unpleasant so knight c5 it looks as though black's totally busted g takes h7 check d takes c5 and now throwing away another knight yeah it's it's crushing that's taken check f5 queen d4 check and now it's adjudicated as a win uh, for white so both engines thought it was like above six etc so um, adjudicated as a win but if it carried on here it's quite simple white plays after rook f6 knight g5 with the big idea of knight f7 check and queening so for example queen f8 knight f7 check and if the king moves then yeah we can just queen at least or we can even do this statistically for queen g4 check next if that's the best move that's not very nice okay so we'll i'll take you back to the final game end position so a really devastating defeat of komodo mcts monte carlo tree search version the big brother of komodo in in, in division uh one of tsec is is a lot stronger at the moment but uh, so it's a it's a bit of an experimental version this version of Komodo. Uh, the opening really did fit with leaders hack attack tendencies. I hope you enjoyed this video, this game video, and uh, if you did, please click on the top left box, which should appear shortly to become a member at chessworld.net. You can play against other YouTubers. You can also check the YouTube analysis of these games in advance from the improved menu, learn from the masters, YouTube order button. Comments, questions, Donations, see the description, like, share, subscribe with the notification bell. All really appreciated. And the new Teespring store is also in the description. Thanks very much.